Hello, my name is Matt Nolf. I'm with P&G Technologies out of Michigan. We're a supplier of propane and natural gas kits for generators. Today we're going to be doing a rigid 6800 running watt with a 8500 starting. Uh, this has the Yamaha MZ360 engine. Um, the kit we're going to be showing you is going to be for propane and then we'll give you the example of the natural gas. Now this kit is going to be a custom kit designed for this rigid. Um, it's not a universal throw in a box, so when you get it, everything will be assembled for you. It makes it a lot easier for you, so we'll go ahead and get started on this. Okay, first thing we're going to do is go ahead and remove our air cleaner cover here. And we'll get the filter all out of it. Get this off, set that to the side, pull your filter. Now there's a bracket back here, remove that there, and you have a support bolt down here this is basically for your vibration go ahead and remove that okay now on the back of here you have your breather tubes go ahead and pull them off there's two of them back there just kind of tuck them and set them to the side and then we'll go ahead and remove our two bolts here holding this on and then that'll expose our gasoline carburetor for us That one there, one more here. And remove your little bracket. This is so you don't crack the cover. So go ahead and remove this. Now we've exposed this and we'll show you the next step. Okay, when we install our slim adapter on here, obviously we're extending the air cleaner out. So our stud nuts will not be able to go back on. So what we do is go ahead and remove your gasket. Just pull your gasoline carburetor forward. You don't gotta take it off. What you're gonna do is get vice grips on here. Lock them down, okay? And then what you're gonna do is back them out about three to four full turns and keep going back and forth until you get that to fit on there. So basically we'll pull that, get that, and we'll slide this gasoline car back on and we'll show you the next step. Okay, we got our carburetor put back on there now. We've pulled our studs out. Let's go ahead and install the gasket that they sent with it. Go ahead and get our slim adapter installed on there. We will supply you with another gasket. And go ahead and get your cover back on here. And make sure you put your, vibe, your bracket back on there, okay? And then we'll go ahead and get these started. Okay, and we'll tighten those down. Okay, and then we'll show you the next step. Okay, when we install the slim adapter, obviously this pulls this unit out. So on the back side where your bolt went through for your vibration on your bracket, we'll supply you a spacer. Go ahead and slide that in and then get your nut back in on the front here. And we'll get that installed and lock that down. Okay, there's that step there. Okay, now we got that. Let's make sure all that's locked down. Got our vibration bracket back on here. It's all locked down. Go ahead and put our bracket back up in there. Get our filter back in. And go ahead and get our air cleaner cover back on. And really, that step is as easy as that. I mean, it's not very hard. It makes it nice. Everything fits on there good. So that is that step there. And then we'll go ahead and show you the next step. Okay, now what we're going to do is go ahead and mount our regulator assembly here. All this will be pre-assembled for you, so you won't have to do any pipe dope insulation or tightening down. Now, on this particular machine... Normally, we'll try to mount down here most of the time. Sometimes we'll go up here, but this cover comes off, so and we didn't want to interfere with anything with the air cleaner. So what we're going to do is go ahead, and we mounted a bracket to this so we can extend it out, and we're going to mount this unit right here. So what we're going to do is from the tubing on the side of the frame, you're going to come over and mark an inch and a half, okay? And from that inch and a half, you're going to come over an inch and three quarter, make your mark there, 
And then what I do is I use a punch. This way your drill doesn't wobble around on you. Let's get you a nice little mark on there. And then we'll show you the next step. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and start drilling our holes here. Now, obviously, we're on a little bit of an angle because your valve cover here, but that's okay once we come through the tube. step there we'll clean them up and we'll show you the next step okay now what we're going to do we go ahead and got our drill our holes drilled here we've cleaned up our burrs and stuff now what i do is i'll put a flat washer on the bottom go ahead and run it up through there put your bracket on put another flat washer got your lock washer there get your nut installed and we'll go ahead and repeat the process over here through your flat washer lock washer and nut again and then we'll go ahead and tighten that down down pretty good if you start tightening too much you'll end up squeezing that tube it's just a hollow tube just go ahead and get this one locked down alrighty that's pretty good right there alright got that we'll show you the next step Okay, our last step here, what we're going to do before we run this off our hose coming off our slim adapter, we'll go ahead and mount that up on there. Now what I do, I don't tighten them. I kind of just take the hose and make sure I've got no kinks in it and then go ahead and lock them down. And that way you avoid kinks and it. it makes it a little bit nicer. And then on this one here, I'm going to run, um, there's a tab on the side of this uh, K-in regulator. It's actually a mounting tab. We're just going to go ahead and put a tie strap there just to keep this hose from coming out the other side there. And we'll go ahead and cut that off. Okay, now we'll show you the next step. Okay, now we've got everything installed on this. Um, was a very simple installation, actually. Um, out of all the ones I did, I kind of enjoyed doing this one a little bit more because I didn't have as many modifications to do with it. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and get our propane hooked up here. Now you do not need pipe dope for this fitting. They are a flare fitting. You're only dealing with six ounces of pressure. You don't gotta hammer lock them down. Um, go ahead and get our connection to our tank and once we do that we'll turn the fuel on and I'll show you the steps on starting it okay turn the fuel on there all right now this is your power adjustment okay this is the most crucial adjustment you'll have and really honestly your only adjustment that you'll ever mess with with either the propane or natural gas in is lean, out is rich. Now we will preset these as close as we can here to give you a quick start, but every engine has different hours and different operatings that most people use them on. So some could have a lot of hours, some not. So that's why we have an adjustment in them. That's why they're not orifice because everything is different. So what we'll do is I'll go ahead 
and loosen this jam nut up here, okay? That way I can adjust this here. All right, so just keep that loose, all right? And thank goodness we have an electric start because if we had a rope pole, obviously you're going to get a little tired doing this because this could take some time. So uh, make sure your choke is off. You never want to use choke with an alternative fuel uh, because this regulator craves vacuum and that's how it operates. So if engine vacuum dies, this will shut your fuel off too in, a, in an emergency situation. So, all right, just make sure our fuel's on. We've got it on here. On the back of this unit is a primer button. Go ahead and give it a shot of fuel. And we'll go ahead and crank her. I got luck. down here and you won't have to touch that again now obviously this is propane so if you want to use natural gas with this the only thing you're going to do is eliminate the brass fitting and the bushing here and then you can run your natural gas from your meter right here now on this particular unit here I definitely recommend three quarter of an inch it's not just a little generator if it was a couple thousand watt you could get away with half inch but you need more of a volume and a demand with this. So we also carry the three quarter inch quick connects, uh, true orifice, three quarter, uh, along with the natural gas hose. And uh, that's that step there. We'll show you the next one. Okay, that wraps up our steps on this rigid uh, 6800 running, 8500 starting. Like I said, it has the Yamaha uh, MZ360 engine in it. Um, we showed you the propane steps and then the natural gas. Now this kit is a custom kit. It's not a throw in the box kit like most people are selling you. Um, everything will be pre-assembled, dialed in and adjusted for you. Now, like I said, we'll get it close here for you, but uh, you might have a little bit of adjustments on that. So if you're interested in purchasing this kit, uh, you can go to pngtechnologies.com or we could be reached at 734-992. 2648. I want to thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it helps out. Uh, have a wonderful day.